Good morning. Um, as Gar said, I'm Ashley Fleischaker, and I'm currently a member of the Vestry. And I just uh, would like to take this opportunity to kind of share a little bit about myself and my experience at St. Thomas. Um, my husband and I came to St. Thomas about 17 years ago. We were fairly new to Kansas City and um, new parents and just kind of looking for that place that um, would bring us a place to be welcomed. Um, we are an interfaith couple. My husband um, grew up in the Jewish faith and um, St. Thomas community has been a big part of mine and my family's life in regards to my, Steve being in an, we're in an interfaith marriage, so that inclusive all is welcome message of St. Thomas has been, an, been a big impact, not only for me, but for our family. And some churches and faiths are not as supportive of people who don't believe or look or act the same but as them, but at St. Thomas has always been quite the opposite. The friendships and bonds we've formed have allowed us and me to strengthen my faith and my connection to, with God, knowing that my family and friends are always welcome here. Um, shortly after coming to St. Thomas, our family of three grew to a family of five. And as our children, children got old enough to participate in Sunday school, I found it as one of my first opportunities to, give, to get involved with um, Sunday school and an opportunity to teach and just be around the youth. And that offered um, not only us that opportunity, but an opportunity to get to know others outside of our community, but also kind of our faith and traditions as we grew as a family. And as life kind of progressed, um, probably one of our strongest connections, and especially for me at St. Thomas, happened through the illness of my eldest child. Um, losing a child is probably the hardest thing I've ever experienced in my life. Um, but the outreach and the love and support that our church family has been a big part of working through our healing for the loss of our family Father Gar has been instrumental in helping us work through Natalie's journey whenever she was sick, but then also the loss of a sister and a daughter. Um, and, and for that, I'll forever be grateful. Um, both Steve and I participated in the Walking the Mourner's Path ministry as we processed our grief and our loss. And I think I both of us would encourage anybody that opportunity. And we would encourage anybody experiencing grief or loss that opportunity. These are just some of the many things that have touched our lives as we've processed this piece. Um, our daughter Natalie is here in the columbarium, and that is another um, beautiful place for us that we are able to visit. Um, and this is just, as I share this, I, I think that this is what this place is um, something very special. And um, I've realized that that has helped us grow in our faith and our understanding of God. Um, we love to visit her here, but also St. Thomas provided our family as outlets as um, our children grew up. Um, Jack and Emily got to participate in arts camp and ROTC, but then also we were able to share with our friends and our neighbors and surrounding community that opportunity, exposing them to some of the great ministries that we have to offer. Um, and it's been fun along the way to watch that expand into friends being exposed maybe for opportunities that they've never been given um, in the regard that um, not given, they've experienced things that maybe they never would have. Um, and that that's a, that just is a great opportunity for us. Um, St. Thomas Community has gone out of its way to support our family in honoring the memory of our daughter and events, and we've held those and provided programs that can help, help support, such as arts camps. We've been able to... Um, just continue to see that grow, but then continue to see that grow through their friends and whatnot. Um, a few years ago, I was asked to serve on Vestry, and I was happy to answer the call. And it's been a great opportunity for me to learn more about the operation of the church and the future planning. 
and I personally have enjoyed the friendships that I've made with the vestry members. Um, you might see someone at a service, but you might not really know them. Um, maybe there's not a connection, and I think that through vestry, I've been able to make multiple um, connections with people and um, just learn what their talents, their time, and their treasures are. And it's really helped me have the desire to continue to learn from others. And, um, and during that, my time on the vestry has also broadened my knowledge of the challenges the church faces and appreciating how very fortunate we are to have so many volunteers in various capacities who give selflessly of themselves to ensure those who come after us have the same loving and supportive place together in connection with God and our community. And more importantly, it set us up for our continual growth and opportunity to serve our calling as a whole. Um, I've always felt a connection here at St. Thomas Community over the years, and as I shared, St. Thomas Sunday School program was my first opportunity to get involved, and I took that, I took that opportunity. And the reality is I've learned so much from others about my faith and the traditions of our church, and the process has fed my desire to continue to learn from others. And we have so many great ministries um, that have taught us so much. And one of my favorites is Tom's Helpers um, that do a lot of behind the scenes works um, and then make our Saturdays and Sundays possible. But the smiles and the hugs are the best part of those friendships for me. And our youth and our children's program are so much fun, but also give me so much hope for what the future holds, not only for our church, but for our community as a whole. And as I close, it's hard to describe what my faith means to me in a few words, but above all else, it's knowing that I'm never alone. In the darkness of your journey and through life, I have my church family and I have my faith and they continue to show up in so many ways. And as we approach Stewardship Sunday, I ask that you reflect on what church means, what church and your faith means to you, and how might you might give your time and talents. St. Thomas has so much to offer each and every one of us and offer our community as we grow. Thank you for your time and for and I pray that each and every one of you enjoy your connection at St. Thomas and may you find peace. <laughs>